our basketball team. And uh, the resiliency, uh, the togetherness. I mean, this, this is a group that it's a different gown most nights, and I don't think they care who gets the credit. They all want to be a part of something bigger than themselves, and, and uh, that's a very good basketball team uh, that we played tonight. Denver's won a lot of games this year, and they'll continue to win a lot of games. They're well coached, they're disciplined, they're very skilled. They can score from a number of different spots on the floor, inside, outside. They're a great three-point shooting team, and we're really proud of our team. You seem to do a nice job on looking defensively. I mean, Stafford gives them, set, gives them 19 points and Olsen gives them 14. But I mean, you slow down guys like Howell and you slow guys down like Eudokia. Do you feel like you kind of made them reliant on a few, on a small number of guys tonight defensively? Well, they're, they're hard to guard. I mean, they, anytime you've got that many guys, they can shoot it from three point line. They're a great free throw shooting team. They can drive the basketball, they, they play out of, out of space. Um, they're very skilled. They're, you, you've got a team that shoots 78% from the free throw line. You've got to keep them off the foul line. And I thought we did a good job of that tonight, guarding without foul. You mentioned yesterday that, that getting hands up and doing a nice job getting your shooters on the three point line is going to be critical. I think at one point they were one of 11 and really seemed to, I guess, almost rush some shots. You guys feel like you did a nice job putting them in positions I, where. I thought we had good energy. You know, I, I want our guys playing with passion, energy, enthusiasm every time we come to the floor. And that's the mental intensity that we've got to have. And I thought we brought a good energy tonight. Talk about how physical you guys were tonight. You really didn't shy away from being physical with them. Do you think that threw them out of their rhythm at all? I, I don't know about that. My, my thing is, is I mean, they've got so many different guys that can score. You know, Stafford, Udofia, Howam. I mean, they're uh, O'Neal. And anytime you have that many guys across the board, they can score. You're not going to shut down everybody. Um, but I thought our guys had, had good energy about them. I thought they had good intensity. I thought we were sharp and crisp uh, yesterday in practice. And we, we had a good focus today in practice as well before, before the game tonight. You mentioned, you know, the guys are giving you the credit, but I, you have to send a lot in there. And you have to back into that first half or giving you 11, especially during that right. stretch to kind of take a 12 9 deficit and turn into a 17 12. You bet, but that's what I'm talking about, man. It's a different guy every night. I don't think it has to be the same one or two guys uh, on a given night. And that's what that's what I like about this team. I mean, they don't care who gets the credit. You know, they want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. And they, they come to practice every day enter, with energy and enthusiasm to get better. And, and that's got to be our, our focus right now, that we keep an edge about us. We've got some days off that we can get our legs back. We'll give them off tomorrow. We'll take another day off on Tuesday. We've got, to, we've got to be hungry when we come back to practice on Monday uh, to get better. Because we got a long way to go. We're nowhere near the end. And on our side, it's going to be a bunched up race all the way through. You mentioned your side here. Uh, obviously, we know that the standings can change on the side of the bracket. You get a sweep against these guys today. You get a win. Well, that, that helps with the tiebreaker. You know, but it's, I mean, we still have seven games left. There's, we're just barely over halfway through. There's a lot of basketball left to be played. Coach, go ahead. You are uh, two games now shooting really well. Now you can wait till Saturday. You afraid of that momentum? I mean, I mean just I, he's I'm, got a good rhythm going right now. Yeah, I, I'm not RJ. I mean, I think at this time of year, it's good to get give guys a couple of days off. I mean, anytime you can you can take a break in conference play. Uh, I mean, it's important that you have fresh legs and fresh minds every time you come to a floor. As you get into February and March. I was going to ask you, down the stretch, you talked about the ability for a team to get a stop. It's not always a big play, but just you know, doing what's consistent. I think about that. There were sometimes they could have five, six. Either you guys get a bucket, I think, at Jamar inside on the second chance I, opportunity, or even coming down. I, I thought side. that was the championship play by Jamar, getting on the offensive glass. That was something coming in. We thought we'd be able to get on the offensive glass a little more than what we actually did, but that's a credit to them. Discipline team. They did a good job blocking out, defensive rebounding. But I thought overall, I thought we we handled their run right there at the end. We didn't finish the game the way we wanted. We didn't make free throws the way we wanted. But I thought our guys answered the run when when it had to be answered. Thank you.